in this lesson we're going to continue where we left off so the next thing is to generate uh, the push certificate so what we want to do now is to go to developer.apple.com website and then log in to our account so i'm going to log into my account and when you are in your account you want to click on the certificate id and profiles so let's click on that the first thing that you want to create is the app id so i'm going to create an app id under the identifiers so click on app id and then we want to add a new app id so at the top here you see the plus sign so let's add the app id okay so let's go back to our xcode project here if you go to the project file at the top here the blue one you see the bundle identifier you want to copy that exactly how it is go back to the website okay so here was the name of the app let's call it push test app and then where it says the bundle id this is the one that we just copied so let's paste that and um, click on continue you can see that automatically it always enables the in-app purchase and the game center but we need to enable the push notification so what we do is we click on register and then after we click on register click on done so what we do is we'll look for the push test app which is right here so i'm going to click on it and then we want to click on the edit at the bottom here so as so now we get to the edit screen here we can enable the push notification so as soon as you check it you can see that it says configurable then you want to create a certificate and so let's create a development ssl certificate we're going to create both the development and production so let's click on create certificate this screen is going to give you instruction on how to generate the csr file which is quite easy all you have to do is press command and space on your computer and then type keychain access and then once that open up so all you want to do is go to the menu at the top here and then click on the keychain access and then click go to the certificate assistant and select request a certificate from a certificate authority click on that then just produce uh, provide an email address so in my case i'm going to provide and then um, the ca email address should be left empty as it says here and then in the in the request is click on save to disk that's all you need to do and then click on continue right so the certificate that will be generated is going to ask you to save it uh, where you want to save it so i'm going to save mine to the desktop and uh, that's it now that we've generated that's that's not the certificate that we need <laughs> so this is just part of the equation click on continue and then now we have to upload the csr file that we just created and this is the one i just generated choose continue right so now download this um, apple development highest push for the development here is its apn development download that okay we're gonna click on done and then let's go back to the app ids again this time for the production so push test app you can see that the push notification one is enabled one is uh, configurable the development is enabled so we we'll click on edit again and then we we'll go through the same step okay here you can download the certificate again if you want to or you can create a new one because you see it always expires so anytime it expires um one signal will send you email that your certificate is about to expire you just have to come in and generate a new one so i'm going to create a, another certificate for the push and now click on continue uh choose the same this year as how far i always save it somewhere so i don't have to generate it every time sometimes i save it to my document and then i can always go back to it for new apps i don't always need to generate a new one 
so continue and then now we can download for the so now you can see that we've generated for the push notification so i'm going to stop here uh, we haven't reached the end uh, let me show you uh, on the you can see that right now it's asking you for a p12 file next thing is to show you how to generate that p12 file thank you